D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So... Uh, I wanted to do this story. I found that I saw this article and everything because I was, you know, checking out the Ripiverse and everything. And I just I saw this article and I wanted to go over it and make a video and everything. And I'm just really, you know, I I I, I really am annoyed with this whole situation with uh, Eric July and the Ripperverse and him trying to do this comic book and everything. You know, he's got problems with PayPal. PayPal won't give him some of the money. Um, you know, they 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 put it on hold because it was so much money all at once and everything. And they, you know, red flags went up. And that part I kind of get, but I just go, you know, this is, I, I don't know, man. It's just so insane. But Gabe... El Tieb, I hope I said his name right. Well, he is, he is, uh, you know, he's fighting back and good for him um, because I, and you know, that pull PayPal thing real quick, going back to that, just real quick. I paid with PayPal and I wish I hadn't, and I wish I could take it back and, 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 and pay with something else because I'm really annoyed that they, they are withholding the money from him. Um, but if they if, if by the time at the point of uh, filming this, if they've given it back and everything good for them and he's at three million with funding for that, I'm so happy I got mine. I got cover a it's sold out now. So if you didn't get it, ha ha. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy for him with this whole situation. But I do want to read this because his colorist who used to work at D.C., well, he's fighting back and everything. And so, like I said before, this comes from bounding into comics. Um this is a fun website. This is from Spencer uh, Bakuli. I hope I said that right, too. All right. Um, this is fun. I really like this picture right here. So it says, Ripaverse colorist Gabe Eltieb. I hope I am saying his name right. If I'm not, you know, get over yourself. Anyways, uh, thanks Superman son of kal uh, writer Tom Taylor for being a phony and a racist SJW and inspiring him to leave DC Comics. Um, I remember, um, I believe it was Gabe Tele Te Tel uh, El Tieb who did a video about leaving it. And uh, I think he talked about his grandfather, uh, you know, being a veteran and everything. And it was a good video. I really, you know, it sucks that people have to leave DC, but those they're putting out a lot of crap these days if you if you're like me and you're a comic book reader they're putting out so much crap and those son of kal comic books i don't care who you are the tom taylor the writing on those is just garbage um yeah they're just garbage it's no good it's not a good comic book and i'm sorry i wasted money on the first three issues and then i was like no i'm done this is already and then the fifth issue was the fifth or the sixth that's where he came out as bi and that part didn't even bother me i was like all right if he's bi he's bi whatever i don't care but um i've read the other issues um and they're just it's just trash it's pure trash it's not good writing the art's not that great. Everything DC is, most of the stuff DC is putting out is not good. Anyways, okay, let's get into this article and everything. So it says, in light of the Ripperverse success launch campaign, ISOM series colorist Gabe Eltieb has given thanks to his former DC collaborator and Superman son of Kal-El writer Tom Taylor for being a phony and a racist SJW and inspiring him to leave the publisher to make non-woke art with Eric July. Now, I know a lot of people want to get into the whole the word woke. Now, I, I personally don't use it just because I feel like when it comes to me um fighting back or defending you know what my stance i don't need to use that i will use that word to sum up what i'm trying to say okay so let's get back into this article so we've got this this is really good this is really good art and everything right here um all right so hurry up i'm getting down to here we go okay Taking to Twitter on July 11th, shortly after the campaign for the debut issue of the July written El Tieb, Cliff Richards, and Eric Weathers illustrated, ISOM went live. The colorist proudly promoted the crowdfunding effort by asserting to his followers having the courage to leave DC Comics is one of the biggest things I've ever done. I am proud that in a world most fear uh, what others think. I had the bravery to go against the woke grain. Um, and like, and again, I'm sorry, I didn't tell, tell you guys, uh, a lot of people are, you know, they're just like, you know, what is, what does woke mean? Define woke and everything. And my whole thing is, okay, fine. I'll define woke. Okay. Uh, you know, cause like I said before, there's the, uh, the 
uh, the the definition of it. And then, you know, everybody's all like, well, what does woke mean? So mine is, and I, and I, I read this somewhere and I just like, you know, you know, uh, planted it down or whatnot. It's, it's a state of awareness only achieved by those dumb enough to find injustice in everything except their own behavior. So that's my definition of woke, but I don't use it. I don't use it. I don't need that to argue my point with you. If we were having a conversation, I can just tell you, you know, uh, you're wrong. Anyways, okay. And so this is the tweet and it says, uh, you know, DZ Comics lost uh, your gain. Isom is a hit. I'm so happy to make this non-woke art. So that's that's this. And this is really good. Like this art is good. I, or at least I think it's good. So it says, Eric July, DC Comics lost your gain, he added, refer, uh, referencing his own departure from DC Comics following their decision to update Superman's mission from fighting for truth, justice, and the American way to instead fighting for truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. ISOM is a hit. I'm so proud to make this non-woke art. Now, I'm I'm one of those people, um, they got rid of the American way because Superman is no longer American. He's a citizen of the world. And I don't like that. I know it's fashionable these days to hate America, but I don't understand that either. I love my country. I love this country. It's so great to be an American and... I just don't understand how you can hate it. It's so it's it's great here. I I don't get it. I don't get it. So this is the comic book, and that's uh, Superman and his son, and then that's his son's boyfriend who is a terrorist slash villain. Uh, they just don't want to acknowledge it. Uh, yeah, he's also a journalist. Look at him. Um, it says. Sharing, uh, uh, sharing a YouTube uh, recounting his thoughts on leaving DC Comics and finding even further levels of success with July, El Tieb declared his, uh, to his fans, be a man and confront fear. We have to. I walked away from DC Comics to stand up to woke garbage, he affirmed. You can stand up too. I could not ask for better friends to fight the good fight. Guys like Eric July, uh, Real Dean Kane, and uh, I don't know who that is, and Ethan Van uh, uh, Skyver. Skyver. Okay. Okay, good for them. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, and I think I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same video I watched. Maybe it was a different artist. I'm not quite sure. But I did watch a video where a guy was talking about how he was leaving. He left DC Comics because, you know, their agenda pushing comic books. Um, and he was talking about, like, I believe he talked about his dad or his grandfather who was a veteran. And, you know, people just don't care about that stuff anymore. And uh, I thought it was very good. It was a very good video, in my opinion. Um, as the Rip Reverse campaign began to take off, at record speeds, LTEB later returned to Twitter to give thanks to Taylor, who I personally do not like as a writer. I think he's very not very good at his job, for whom he colored scripts on the uh, aforementioned Superman Son of Kal-El immediately prior to his exit from DC Comics writing. I'd like to thank Tom Taylor for being a phony and a racist SJW. This man is also, I believe, a man of color, a person of color. So um, if it wasn't for his bad writing and in <laughs> insulting take on Superman, I might have stayed at DC Comics. I'm more free than ever. I have more money than ever. And I couldn't have done it without you, Tommy. Uh, he proudly concluded signing off. Uh, his tweet with a hashtag Comicsgate. Oh, and Comicsgate is is a lot of uh, people that worked in the com. Oh, you know, I do know that Ethan Van Skyver guy. He's got that. Um, what's that? Robo Frog. Robo Frog. I haven't read his comic book. I should though. I do like independent comic creators, um, especially if the story's good. If the story's no good, I'm not gonna support it. But maybe I should buy his. Just to but Comicsgate is people that didn't like the agenda pushing comic comic book industry so they went and they you know write their own comic books and try to get their own stuff going uh you know that's it in an option there's more to it but uh yeah uh so it says in one particularly notable exchange that resulted in LTEB's uh initial uh, assertion after his opening tweet was met with a response of and who are you again 
by a detractor, the colorist can uh, countered, uh, "I'm the guy. I'm a guy that was work that has worked on the biggest properties in the world with great success. My work is in movies, TV, and video games. Literally, the elite of the elite. I made a comic." Uh, that is smashing world records for indie books. As you read, as you read, read this, he continued before asking, what did you do today? Um, I bet this person regrets that. <laughs> Join the conversation. Another user of uh, this person uh, criticized LTF, found out who you were and honestly pretty disappointed by the first impressions you're giving me here. Okay. Um, I'm not here to be validated by anyone. Good for you. I hate when people need to be validated by anyone. I, I'm not, I'm not one of those people. I don't need to prove myself to any of you. Uh, fired back LTEB, uh, don't need it. That's for the weak and the narcissistic. Totally true. Uh, if you can do anything, I want you to ensure people to be brave and achieve. Yeah, for sure. Um, as of writing, the ESOM number one campaign has is has currently raised three uh, million dollars and everything. Thirty three thousand backers, over thirty three thousand backers. Um, Avery uh, Silman was once an entry level hero, known as ISOM in the city of floor spark texas shortly after gaining his special abilities reads the synopsis of the original series provided by july and his team a certain event had him hang up his suit and now he stays on the outskirts of the city living in a as a rancher and this art is really this art's pretty good dude like i like it you know but we'll see okay avery avery sister uh Altona gives him okay. So this is the this I'm not gonna read through this um synopsis. I just this art's pretty good. Like the the, the everybody's doing a good job here. Um, going through the rest of this, and that's the end of the article. So I'm just putting out there. I just wanted to cover this because you know, good for them. Um, you know, fighting back because again, people want to crap all over the ripper this ripperverse comic book and it's 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 just it's breaking records like i said in a previous video which i'll leave a link in the icard section this is a game changer you guys and i personally just i just want good writing in my comic books you know and i think that the art is pretty good uh, you know but it all comes down to story for me if the writing is good i can get past a lot of stuff you know um, you know, I recently the the uh, the the one that comes to mind most recently is the She Hulk comic books. Um, I thought the writing was pretty good, um, and that's what kept me reading it. Um, but the the I always I thought the art was garbage. I I, I thought the the I didn't like it. Um, it was too blocky for me. I just it just wasn't my my cup of tea. But the writing was very good. Um, and uh, well, it was good. It wasn't very good. Um, but uh, yeah. So. Tell me, you guys, what do you guys think about this? How, what, how do you feel about Gabe LTEB standing up for himself and this comic book and the work that they're doing on this? Me, I'm all for it. I say, I say you got to fight back and everything. Give them hell because they're going to give you hell no matter what. And I'm glad that this is happening. And again, this is a game changer and I wish them nothing but the best uh, and, uh, and all that good stuff. So tell me what you guys think about this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. I won't mind if you're new on the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next uh, Ripperverse video. You guys have a good day. Bye.